Alright man, yo yo yo, what's happening man? So Serbia against Switzerland. So Serbia, the good to start. And look man, I'm gonna say it right now man, I'm not, I don't know whether Serbians have listened to this. I'm looking at how things are being constructed. So I'm just looking slightly ahead to the round of 16 and I'm gonna say right now, you know, um, let's take all the usual suspects out of the way. I do believe that Serbia have got a great chance to make it into the quarterfinals. I'm saying it right now. I'm putting Serbia for potentially getting into the quarterfinals. I'm looking at how things are going. Um, I think Serbia can do it. But again, they've got to take care of business. And this is going to be a very hard game for, for, for Switzerland. So, so it's going to be a hard game for Serbia. Switzerland don't really have any kind of superstar players. But what they are, they work very, very hard. They're super organized. They're very, very hard to cut through. Very hard to penetrate and they're very good defensively based on their super organization. And they work extremely hard. I mean, I think what really came out from it was what Berami did on Neymar. So they're not afraid of employing a guy on a star player and really putting him down. But I think where Serbia can be a bit fortunate for this is the fact that they don't have a Neymar and they're not a Brazil. So Switzerland are not really going to put a guy on Milinkovic, Savage or Tadic or so forth. So I think if Serbia, if Serbia can get Savage and Tadic on the ball, can do what they did, get those balls into 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 the box and can control the midfield, get, get in their fights and really get the, the guys on the ball, get Kolarov on the ball, get him to, to, to put crosses into Mitrovic and so forth, get Milinkovic, Savage to make runs from deep in, 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 into the box, that I think Serbia can definitely take this game. I think for Serbia, they know that they've got to work really hard. Because Switzerland are a really, really tough team who can go for, for 90 minutes and, and they try really, really hard. So, and I think for Switzerland, I just think, you know, um, I know what they're going to do offensively, but I want to see them um, play better going forward. Do more going going forward. You know, do more. I mean, again, the goal they got against Brazil was a set piece. But I want to see something more from open play. I want to see more quick shots passes, one-touch passes, and to see whether they can actually create chances from, from, from open play and really look good, look good on the ball. So, um, I think, you know, overall, looking at the game, um, it's going to be a tight one. It's going to be a tight one. But I think Serbia can edge this. I think Serbia can edge this. I'm, I'm going to say 2-1. I'm going to say 2-1 to... Serbia, I think they they might just add this over Switzerland. Man, I don't know. But then I've got a funny feeling about Switzerland. I'm gonna say I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna say one one. I'm gonna uh, yeah. I mean I don't think Serbia can can out I beat them. I'm gonna say one 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 between both these sides. But I think this is gonna be much harder for Serbia than um against um because we that than than the World Cup against Switzerland. So I'm gonna say one one. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a half a football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.